How's it going everyone? Today I have another character showcase video for you as we go over on and how she functions in Persona 5 Strikers. But before that, if you haven't seen my previous character showcase videos or my video going over basically everything that you need to know about Strikers, you can find links to those videos in the video description. And of course, if you have questions about this video, Persona 5 Strikers, or any other game that I cover, you can always hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rosalindgaming or on my Discord server which you can also find links to in the video description. Now I did mention this in my previous showcase videos, but I'd like to go ahead and mention it here as well, and that is that these showcase videos aren't meant to be in-depth character guides, rather they're simply meant to showcase the different characters to you and their core mechanics. So without the way, let's take a look at On and Persona 5 Strikers. On is an agile character that makes use of her whip in order to deal physical damage at mid-range. Furthermore, the whip allows On to easily hit enemies in a wide area, making her a good pick for battles with lots of small enemies. And what should come as no surprise, On is very good against enemies that are weak to fire damage. One of the core components of her kit that allows her to excel at dealing fire damage comes in the form of an ability enchant for her weapon. At any time, you may hit the triangle button to imbue her weapon with fire, converting all of her physical attacks into fire damage for a decent period of time. While enchanted, you can also hit the triangle button again in order to have On deal a pretty devastating combo attack while removing the imbue in the process. Aside from that, her actual combos are pretty straightforward, consisting of hitting square X number of times, followed by the triangle button for a payoff combo. I would, however, like to highlight her square triangle combo, as in addition to dealing damage, it also sees On's persona cast Tarunda on the enemy, assuming that you have unlocked the prerequisite Master Art. And unlike with damaging abilities, buffs and debuffs that are cast via combos don't have their potency reduced, so having SP-free access to an attack-reducing debuff is very useful. When attacking at long range with On's machine gun, things are incredibly simple. You just hold down the L1 to aim and R1 to unload bullets into your enemies. The damage isn't super high, but it does get the job done when you need to be far away from an enemy in order to avoid its attacks. When not assaulting enemies with her fiery whip or unloading ammo into them with her machine gun, On can make use of her persona, Carmen. As with Persona 5, Carmen is a persona with a heavy focus on dealing magic fire damage while also dabbling a little bit in support. Of particular note with Carmen is the passive ability Soul Stealer that she learns at level 10. This ability makes it so that attacks used against enemies that are afflicted with a status ailment will steal SP from that enemy. It is definitely a little clunky, but as one of the only ways to actually restore SP early in the game, it's definitely worth taking note of. Finally, we have On's Master Arts. For those that haven't seen my other character showcase videos, Master Arts are essentially four perks that each character learns as you defeat enemies with them in battle. You Won't Get Away allows On to chain her basic square combo indefinitely by letting her restart the combo without delay upon completion while also propelling her slightly forward in order to help maintain range. Do You Like It Hot augments her weapon enchant by adding an extra attack to the combo performed when you release the enchant with Triangle. Then there's Fate Cry, which is the master art that adds Tarunda to On's square triangle combo. And finally, Extreme Blaze increases all of On's fire damage as well as her chance to apply the burn status ailment to enemies. And that'll do it for this quick showcase of On and Persona 5 Strikers. I'll have plenty more Strikers content coming in the lead up to and after release, so be sure to subscribe to get notified when new videos come out. And if you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to leave a like as it really does help out. Until next time, take care.